This is Coal Lake, Alberta, or should I say Saskatchewan, the border lake. Governed by Alberta regulations, you can fish with either an Alberta or Saskatchewan license. So uh, Travis here, just out on Coal Lake today. Going for some Lakers, can't wait. Lake's looking nice, beautiful. Eskimos up, tents up. Hopefully we got some action. I'm gonna show you guys a different bait to use instead of those tube jigs. You guys better stay tuned, this is gonna be awesome. You guys ready to catch some fish or what? Ice depth is 12 inches. There we go. Wow, that guy was a real light bite. Wow. Chase me for a bit. Extremely light bite. That's called hammer time. <laughs> Raffler rip and rap. I can't say it enough. It's unreal, you guys. It's unreal. That's because you're a wee fella. There, this is kind of cool. Check that out. Hey, yeah, pretty cool, pretty dope. He's just a little feller. <laughs> Small one. But nevertheless, a Laker. Right there, hold on. Look at this little guy. Right, like, see how big he is. He's real small. Barely felt the bite, so. Oh, good evening, everybody. I'm going to go. It's going to be here. Come on now. 54. Oh, here he goes. 54. See you, buddy. Thanks. Get out of here. You know it. See you. You guys believe? <laughs> I know all those walleye guys out there. They're coming now. They're coming. Anybody who fishes walleye, maybe even those guys that are going to Lake Winnipeg for uh, for walleye are gonna head north, hit some lake or lakes with the rip and wraps, same thing they're using. You watch, it's probably coming now. Love it. Hey boys, it's in Coal Lake. You know up here in Canada, she's a little frigid, a little minus 40 action. Nothing little Jimmy's can't fix, you know. Up here where we live in igloos, sometimes a little bit gets a little bit crazy, you know. Anybody else like when the ice shifts and booms and cracks? Gives you the heebie-jeebies? <laughs> I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> Good. Not a fan of it. I'm not scared, but I just do not like it. Okay. So when you think you should move and you come back, bring your auger inside, because it's cold outside. Maybe get that auger cleaned up a bit, you know, get her nice and warm. You come back 
and your mark comes full of marks halfway up the column. I dropped my rip and wrap down and he cranked it. Here he is guys, he cranked it. Can you guys believe that? It actually feels like bigger than the last one. So, okay, let's bring him up just by the tail, by the last hook. I'm not ripping it up. Right there. It's a custom that I had painted. It's another one. Right there, you guys. Laker on guys, I just changed colors. So one thing I do too guys is I, uh, when I tie my braid I put a swivel and I usually go about five feet of 17 pound fluorocarbon. And the reason for that five feet is that when I get to the, up to the hole um, later in the year, you get about a meter of ice, that kind of thing. When you hit your swivel, like I am right now, you know you're close, that's your indicator. And then you can guide them up the hole. Here, spicy, this little guy. Okay, drop a little rip and wrap. So big he is. That guy is 64. Back to the depths. So you guys are probably wondering why the Rappala Rip and Wrap, why I use it for lake trout. Bait fish profile. Shimmies on the way down as it's falling and vibrates as you lift it up. Then, listen, high pitch chamber rattles. You can fish it just like this. You can add a uh, feathered treble if you want for that other action, like a moving of a, of a tail, right? Works really good, you guys. You guys gotta try this bite. I think it's better than tube jigs. I don't know, you tell me. Hey guys. I got another one. Apparently, I just gotta keep putting my jacket on and off, cause every time I feel like I should go outside and move <laughs> and drill some more holes, this happens. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe I just leave the jacket on or what? It's crazy, I just, I just can't believe it. This is actually probably a bigger fish. He chased me. So I'm gonna take this jacket back off. Maybe I got a lucky jacket, I don't know. But every time I put this jacket on, I catch another laker. So, let's, uh, let's get ready here to fight this guy. Like I was saying, guys, that swivel at about five feet. I just love it because five feet, meter of ice. Right now we're only sitting 12 inches, so it doesn't matter, right? But it's a nice indicator. As the season gets longer, cooler, you build more ice. All you gotta do is see that swivel come up 
and you know he's right below the ice and you can help guide, hold your rod in one hand. Casey runs, don't, and then kind of guide him up your, your meter of ice sometimes with your hand, right? I just use a 2500 reel. I don't got nothing fancy for, for a rod. It's a 36 inch medium heavy. It's not a crazy expensive rod like you see lots of guys using, right? Fish for lake. I like fish for lakers in wintertime. Something different. Summertime is always walleye. Wintertime I like lakers and perch. That's just my preference. There's nothing like lakers. They can be aggressive all throughout the winter, whereas walleyes go deep and, and uh, their metabolism slows down and they don't eat as much. But uh, yeah, I think this is a real good one. It's a bit of a skating rink in here, but. Another, another Laker. <laughs> so let's get them measured here. We'll measure them. They're all probably gonna be the same size. There's lots of fish on here the same size. That is a 70 and a half. Seventy and a half. Long, it's not that, not that big, but. See you guys, thanks. Hey guys, so I just wanted to explain to you how I've kind of figured out this lipless crag bait bite for Lakers. I could never, I tried tube jigs, was never successful with tube jigs. I've caught, there's no Lakers on a tube jig, none. Haven't caught a Laker on a tube jig. I've tried, I've played around with TC Motos. I've seen now tight lines, uh, UV has added some, some um, flash and some more uh, tails off of the tubes. I haven't tried those, but I'm stuck on my lipless cranks and you'll never get me away from them for lake trout. So I struggled with lake trout fishing until I learned a little bit more about fishing structure and, and, and what all a guy needed to do that. A flasher helps tremendous. You, you shouldn't go lake trout fishing really without a flasher. Um, it's so much fun. And so I could, couldn't catch anything with, on tube jigs. So I'm a walleye guy, learned how to fish for walleye. I had a whole bunch of walleye tackle. I was like, you know what? Guys on Lake Winnipeg, they're using ripping wraps and lipless cranks on Winnipeg. Guys are pitching them for walleyes on, on the Great Lakes. Why can't I try those for lake trout? So I took some with one day, threw them on. To my surprise, I was catching lake trout and quite a few lake trout on lipless crankbaits. More importantly, the Rafla rip and wrap. That's been a great bait for me. Another one has been the slab wrap. Um, I use half ounce size on both of them. That's, if you, go, if you go bigger, you know, sometimes you think bigger is better, but smaller profile, uh, they can really get in their mouth and get a hold of it. And it's been a great bait for me. So that's basically, I couldn't, I couldn't catch nothing, so I stepped outside of the box. Um, I watched a little bit of Fish Addictions TV and Mike Olson had a little phrase about stepping outside of the box and being different to, to find your success. And, and I believe that's what I've done here um, with, with lipless crankbaits. Um, yeah, it's been really cool, really cool. I don't know of anybody else that uses lipless crankbaits for lake trout, but I'm, I'm quite certain that a lot of people are gonna try it now. And I've been holding out on this for like the last two to three years. It's only a couple people that have came fishing with me know, and everybody's kind of been tight-lipped about it. Um, it's, it's a really great technique. And hopefully, you guys buy some and try it and have success. Uh, that that'd be great. You know, maybe you got two guys in the tent. One guy's using your tube jig. If you if you have success with the tube jig, one guy could be using the tube jig for more of that finesse presentation, and another guy using 
a lipless crank for that vibration and that noise to draw those Lakers in. Um, it might work really good for you guys. So, so I hope you give it a shot and I hope you're successful because uh, I just, I can't keep it all to myself anymore. I'd like other people to enjoy fishing and, and uh, catch some of these lake trout because there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing like it. Like wintertime walleye are pretty hard to catch. Um, lake trout, it's, it's one of a kind, you guys. So get out there and enjoy it. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video, hanging out, you know, checking out uh, what can happen when you change it up. Definitely try out Rappler Rip and Wraps. Give them a go, lots of colors to choose. Have fun on the ice.